Welcome back to Silver Bullet Streaming. Wolfman here. We got ourselves some Gears 5 Horde, the Madman's Monster Horde. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween, you all. And uh, we're going to go over uh, all 20 waves here. Now, this is the new event mode for the week. Uh, last week they had the Pumpkin Ball, and now they have this. Uh, it's going to be Horde for 20 waves on Asylum with a mixed group of enemies here, what I already see with the Halloween heads. Uh, after you do 60 waves of this, you will will unlock the pumpkin skins, uh, ex with the exception of the Nasher, Lancer, and all your pistols. So, I like to set up with some, some X's over in this little room here, and put a couple guns in. Kind of creates like a little killing room for me. I'm playing with three of my buddies, and two randoms on the team so they're gonna kind of hold down the other end I'll, I'll walk over and you'll see what theirs looks like later but my buddy he's he's dealing and he's gonna bring me over stuff and I get a little picky now I like my barbed wire so and it's all it's all it's all good though everything gets good now I lose I do lose my sound for the first three waves and the start of wave four is when I gotta have sound back so I'm doing this little voice over here let me know if you like it, if it sounds all right. I do have a crappy mic set up, so it's hard to put voice on these videos at, at currently. That's why a lot of my videos don't have voice. And I'm going to put another X over here. And then I'm going to put some guns behind me eventually. And I'm just going to hold down this whole side. I like the little, like I said, a little killing zone in that room. Put two sentries, uh, bullet sentries, and then a shock sentry in there. And pretty much kind of handle the zone. You upgrade them pretty high like level threes but like i said this isn't regular horde it's only 20 waves but you are going to get a boss wave every five in this instead of every 10 and it is preset and of course you know the lovely gears waiting waiting on players issue For some reason when you go into the map it holds the whole game in between waves And my lovely sound issues were brought to you by the Gears, or actually it's the Xbox in general, beta app on PC. Uh, it always happens on Gears for some reason. I don't have that issue with any other game. Just another another issue with Gears. Yay, fun. Alright, so we're getting some gun. Get some guns in here now. As you see the room building, he doesn't know where to put it. So I'm going to grab it, move it to where I want it. And I get stuck in the corner too. You gotta adjust your guns. The good thing about this word is a lot of rejects and juvies, so you can get your chainsaw going. It's kind of fun. We are playing on elite difficulty, so this isn't exactly a picnic, you know, compared to some of the other hardnesses, but it is dead smack in the middle. So it's a good challenge get good decent cards level up your characters Now, when I use my cog gear, I'm up to level 14 now, I think, after the end of this night of us playing Horde. Um, I like to put a little bit into my cooldowns for the revive. I do have that great card where it repairs fortifications too, and I have also the grenade kills add 110 seconds to my respawn for my ultimate. So, having that ultimate is kind of clutch. You know, people go down, you can also kind of use it when you don't really need it when people go down in order to get some repairs on your fences and it'll save you a lot of power in the long run if you use it right you know but the harder the waves are the harder it is to get grenade kills unfortunately you know if you run out of grenades you can always buy grenades for 500 it's a lot cheaper than repairs if you're repairing a massive amount of fortifications as you see 
this was the night of playing with really stupid teammates and our our kate here was just kept buying flame grenades they must have bought like 20 sets of flame grenades just wasting power like crazy unfortunately these, these flame grenades aren't doing anything i just don't understand people when they play sometimes Yeah, I was experiencing some lag issues a little bit. A little stuttering to enemies jumping around. I was complaining about my ping being so low and lagging. <laughs> I swear those ping numbers, uh, they aren't accurate at all. I was in a ranked match with one of my buddies and a guy had a 3,000 ping. I don't understand. Like, it's bad enough when people are 200 plus and you're playing a ranked match, but... I don't know how they let people in with pings of like, you know, thousands. We were joking. We we're like, where the hell is this guy playing from? The moon? So, right here, I start messing with my sound again. I get a chance and I get my sound working again on the video. So, you get to hear all those glorious explosions and death groans. And uh, me spamming. My character uh, emotes every once in a while. Enemies incoming! Guns up! It really sucks you can't chainsaw the Cyrus in this gear sword, but Back in your pod. you know it is what it is. There is a lot of a lot of rejects and juvies. Like I said, you can chainsaw like crazy. Marcus would be pretty good in this if you run a chainsaw card. You got a lot of chainsaws to keep, keep filling up his ultimate. I think it's every every three or so, depending on your cards built up will refresh his ultimate. Nice. Barrier repair. Sentry is up. Ready to rock and roll. Perfect. Sentry reloading. Alright, so wave 5 is going to give you a few set of bosses. It's set at the same every time, so you're going to get a warden and a stump. Sometimes they will spawn on the same sides, so it gets a little hard. But as you see, we got our stump off to our left there and the warden to our right. Uh, a good way to take care of the wardens is uh, using a crowd cannon. You can freeze them and get some good headshots. Sometimes they get kind of glitched though, and the heads tilt to the side, and you got to like line up your shot to the side. Oh, this face. It's really, I don't know. Yeah. Yay, gears. You know, being all stupid. But yeah, as you see, when you're running a good JD and he's got a lot of artillery strikes with that GL, you make short work of everything. Yeah, he's running a dual GL setup with a weapons locker, so, and he's got his seven rounds per, per GL, so, and uh, with a good, good Dell running. The overclocked, it fills up relatively quick. Uh, you can get a GL filled up in less than half a wave depending on you know time constraints but yeah it doesn't take long at all
Weapons lock at deployed. Mine. and roll. Fire down! Flame out! Fire 
So, so we're on wave eight now. Everything's running smoothly, and we're trying to get our weapons locker system set up. We like to have a couple of them, kind of get all these big weapons charged up, and whatnot. And our our Jack, being the rando he is, decides to build a forge. Now, forges are great when you have a good Dell Jack team going on, and and you do it right off the beginning. But when you're doing it, especially at wave eight. Out of 20 wave board, it's such a waste of resources. Yes, and as you see, my team is a little pissed off. I mean, we're all kind of mad, but he <laughs> threw himself a little message there. Uh, he never responded, but like I said, for some reason, this night, all we did was play with dumb teammates. It was very frustrating. Yeah, especially in horde, man. You you want to you want especially in the long hordes, I should say. You want to keep a good like three or four weapons lockers sometimes, depending on your setup. Oh, shit, they have all fire. those power weapons, uh, man. Like cryo cannons are priceless. I know most people don't really know how to use them in horde, but man, they freeze bosses so good, especially in the flock. They will they will tear down a flock or even bastions. If you can reach the bastions, man, they're dead in like three seconds. It, it help, it'll help you out so much. And you just keep bringing your weapons back, man. Especially, you got the uh, the overclock on, the, on his weapons lockers, man. They, they just recharge so quick, man. They got weapons every way. Fresh weapons, man. Just, like I said, it only takes a second, too. So it should be a good defense. Just run them back, put them back in. So I, I thought I ran over more times than I did and actually went in there, but maybe I didn't do it till later on. But they have a slightly different setup over there. They, they're trying to funnel them into the corner, and they don't have a lot of gun setups because uh, JD with his GL, he just does massive damage. With them. Like I said, he's got seven shots per GL. He's mul running multiple GLs in the, in the weapons locker, and they're ch they charge up so quick, you know, and he's just murdering over there doing a good job all right so now we're wave 10 is our second Turn boss wave here. and we got a swarmac and a flock like i said it'll, it'll always be the same we get the swarmac flock every time so it's definitely where those power weapons come in handy cryo cannon uh, i don't get to use the cryo cannon on the flock i don't think they pretty much like i said with his gl and uh, they might have used it too over there just just Takes it down so quick, man. You see, on Elite, yeah, they were using the crowd cannons. You see, man, just, just wipe that flock right out. And it freezes all those little leeches it drops, too, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So here I am getting a little careless. Got frozen. And I got lucky now. He hits the barbed wire and gets stunned, so I'm able to get away. So, yeah, with those X's, I sometimes I usually like to run like a star pattern, but they get really confused. And they, they, like, they just get stuck in the middle. Especially if you run one down the middle and then feed the X over running running straight up. They just get stuck, they fall in the middle and they have to walk across that whole piece of barbed wire and they it just come to go and so it's great. Yeah, so we get lucky in there. The swarm act kinda gets stuck in the middle. Not that they're really that hard to deal with anyway, but and we just take them out and that was our boss wave, man. So everything's rolling smooth as you can see, doing doing really well. Favorite. Energy 
safe half secured. We've got enemy reinforcements. Yes, please. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you understand. Drone marked! Now you're repaired! Really needed this! Oh yeah! Let's do this! Drone spotted! emptied. Cap upgraded. Okay, clear. Mission repaired. Area upgraded. Barrier deployed. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, collecting from the tap. Barrier deployed. Excellent. Tap upgraded. All right, clear. Sentry 
All right, so we're getting ready to start wave 15. Leaving line around. Doing a little repairs, everything. Getting our power weapons ready. Got the crowd cannon. You know, see what what bosses are going to spawn. Like I said it's it's pretty determined, but this was my first time playing this, so I, I didn't know at the time what what bosses were coming up. We've got company. Just got a stump oh, and a warden in there. Alright, so just like wave five, stump and a warden. We get the crowd can here. A little bit of breeze on the, on the warden. Knock that helmet off. There goes that helmet. Watch out! Oh man, 
a couple, a couple shotgun shots to the head. Now Kate with the shotgun with her bleeding, man. The shotguns are the best. It's the warning, and then JD just drops that GL on the frozen, frozen warden takes care of that. And we just gotta protect our base here from these sires, man. There's so many sires in this. Now our, our, J, our JD thought he killed the stump earlier by dropping artillery on it. He just dropped one of them and didn't die, so he's running around like, like an idiot thinking it's already dead and we're over here struggling with our lancers from a distance because those stumps, they don't have a cooldown. They just keep firing that try shot all the time. Now, now our Jack made some dumb decisions by building that forge, and he barely used it this whole whole game. Just a waste of energy. But he was pretty good about picking people up and 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 getting assists and shocking enemies, stunning them so you can get chainsaws in or some power shots. So he, he was a good player. Just made some poor decisions building stuff. emptied. Enemy reinforcements. Set your reload. Set your repairs. Yeah. 
this my work. some energy. Sentry reloading. Uh, yeah. All right, we're about to start wave 20, final boss wave. As you see, I have way too much power on me. I forgot to use it before it starts, and so I just throw it in the fabricator, and hopefully we can upgrade something or they destroy a bunch of our stuff. We'll just build something there. You know, it's not needed to have 
pretty, you know, it's good to have some saved up, especially when we get a double matriarch wave. It's always going to be a double matriarch um, wave 20 on this game mode. Yeah, this can get a little crazy. Uh, I was kind of screwing around with the mulcher there. I took out the sires. We're going to get that cryo cannon. Like I said, in this over and over again, cryo cannon works wonders on bosses. Very underrated. No one uses it when I'm playing the board. It's usually just my friends and I. You know, the randos never use them. I get a good freeze here. I get around, get a couple shots in him, but the GL is just going to come down and murder him. Also nicely. Let's save that guy's life. Got to revive also out of it. But reason. Wow, it's getting a little hair in there. Gotta get out. Gotta loop around and get that crowd cannon again. And yeah, like a dumbass. We made some mistakes here. We actually almost blew it. Got really close. Now, I was gonna use my T revive and decide not to at first, but I saw them come over and I'm like, ah, it's getting hairy, so I used it anyway. I was gonna try to save it, but there's only a couple people left. Gets us revive, get the hell out, and I end up going down, but at least we're not in the general center there. I think they dropped the GL to finish this. I'm not sure. But like I said, we were just running for our life there at the end. But yeah, that's all 20 waves. I mean, I know it looked easy, but it really wasn't. I mean, it was on Elite. We just play together a lot. Three of us play almost every night on Horde. You know, sometimes we get good randos, sometimes not so much. But yeah, it, it's a good time. We have fun. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, all the fun stuff there on the YouTubes, YouTube world. Leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, I can help you out with the Horde. We are getting pretty good on the Master, but me and my friends are getting pretty good at Horde mode here. I got a new intro in the beginning. It's not 100% finished. Leave a comment in there. Let me know what you think of it. Happy Halloween again. Glorious day. Eat all that candy. Scare those little kids. Have a good day.